Let's look at the key differences between old and new UK and Irish GAAP when accounting for financial instruments. Now, most UK and Irish entities disapply the fair value accounting standards under old GAAP, and so in many cases financial instruments are either recognised and measured at cost, or are kept off balance sheet. This is no longer possible. Section 11 of FRS 102 deals with basic instruments, such as trade debtors, simple bank loans and share investments, which are usually initially recognised at the transaction price, and subsequently measured at amortised cost at each period end. Where transactions are not at market rate, such as interest-free trading transactions or loans, this may lead to recognition differences and more convoluted accounting compared to old GAAP. Section 12 of FRS 102 deals with other derivative-based instruments, such as interest swaps and forward contracts. These are either recognised and measured at fair value, with changes recorded in profit and loss, or entities can apply hedge accounting to reduce volatility in profits and losses. Most of these instruments are currently held off balance sheet, but they will now have to be recorded. Sections 11 and 12 of FRS 102 are complex, and they represent perhaps the greatest challenge to accounts preparers and auditors. So please read our more detailed guide within this section to the FRS 102 approach to financial instruments. Thanks.